What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today we are at Cards and Coffee. So guys, the last time we came out here, it rained and we got rained out and it was ugly. So now we're back and it's nice and beautiful in this gorgeous weather. So I'm super excited to get my hands on some badass cars and maybe even find myself a dream car to buy. I don't know. Reg, are you pretty excited? Oh yeah, you know I'm excited. And we've been itching to get over here. It's been a while since we got to some cars and coffee, so let's get into it. Frank, he's Frank, and uh, we have a 2020 GT500. This is the uh, new color for 2020. It's the Grabber Line. Spectacular car. Uh, it's just an all-around outrageous car. I would say it's probably the best thing out there right now. I uh, haven't come from the 2020 Corvettes, from a couple of Hellcats, and a few other sports cars. Um, I truly believe this is probably the best you can get out there in the market right now. What made you get this car over? You said you had Hellcats before. Why this car? We pretty much it's the newest thing out there. Okay. Um, and after driving it, it was like an automatic. Uh, it's it's the ultimate ticket right now. Oh man, how does that get? The handling is spectacular. The you know the speeding is spectacular. I mean the speed on this thing is crazy, man. How the much horsepower are we looking? 760. 760. 760. Man. So is it around the same price range as the Hellcat? Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, the Hellcats now have huge incentives on them because they've been around since 2008. Okay. So obviously they're due for a change, but they're I think they don't know what they're going to do. Uh, they're just they're beaten up by the Corvette and the new Mustang GT500. It's uh, I don't think they're part of the actual market right now. That's why they're giving those huge incentives. Out. That makes yeah. sense. So who's the one driving you to buy all these things? This Damn guy. Yep. Okay. This one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you getting one of these when you when you graduate? I would want one. Yeah. yeah. All right. So are we setting them up? Are we setting them up? Yeah, we're going to set them up. All right. All right. We're setting them C8 in one of these maybe. Yeah. maybe. Okay. Well, you know what? Dad, make it happen. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. My name is Andres and I drive this 2010 Chevrolet Camaro. It's also known as Medallo. What does that mean? Medallo. So I'm from Colombia. It's a city in Colombia called Medellin. Okay. Probably you guys maybe heard of it. You heard of Narcos? Uh, Narcos, hey Pablo! Yeah. Alright. Yep, yeah, yeah. so that's where I'm from. And that's <laughs> what they call Medellin over there. Oh, okay. it's like the nickname of Medellin is Medallo. So oh, nice. got the license plate back there too as that, so pretty recognizable. Can't run away from the cops because they all know which one it is. So. Yeah. I love your body style. Why'd you pick this one over the other Camaros? So as a 2010, it's actually gone through a lot of transformations. Uh, I actually changed out the paint. It's got the new Corvette paint. It used to be dark gray, and now it's a uh, ceramic matrix gray. So that's the color. And then I just redid the wraps. It's got the ZL1 front bumper conversion from the newer style ZL1s. I was wondering, because I'm yeah. like, that's not 2010. It's you not know? 2010, yeah, and no, it's got a conversion. So uh, awesome. did that, did the hood from the ZL1. It is modified engine-wise too, um, but yeah, I did engine work. It's got a cam from GPI, GPI SS4. It's got about 500 horsepower. Um, besides that, uh, bolt-ons, cold air intake, exhaust. That's great. So, yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. So you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. So YouTube channel is Medallo Vlogs. So I'm sure he'll tag it somewhere. I will. I will. <laughs> He's the man. And, um, and um, pretty much, it's Spanish-speaking channel. Am I right? Yeah. So, so for my Spanish people, you're looking for some Spanish car content, right? Car yep. content? Car content. That's Spanish. exactly. So check them out. All right, my name's Dave. This is a 1951 MGTD. It was built back in 19, 
474 with the 427 Chevy motor put in it. Awesome. So what? Um, are you the original owner? Would you find it? I no, mean, I'm not the original owner. Okay. A friend of mine, he bought it, and uh, there used to be a drag car at one time. I see the the roll bars in the back there. Well, yeah, we had it was all set up for a drag race at one time in 1975. We converted it on the street. Okay. And uh, it was like I helped him with building this most of it, and we. Uh, We've been friends for the last uh, 50 years. That's friends to keep right there, that's and, awesome. And uh, he died a couple years ago, so I'm I sorry. went down and picked the car up and uh, brought it up here and put it back on the street again. That is awesome. That is yeah. awesome to hear. Rich, first off, I'm gonna tell you something. All these cars, octane, all the high octane, you can smell it. But I just managed to smell somebody's body odor. It just stinks like straight butt. Ooh. Oh, God, like eggs. All right. No, oh, I smell going. it. I yeah. smell it. You smell it? I smell it. I don't know what it is. Either way, guys, this is my dream car, and it will be coming to the channel one of these days. It is a 2020. Well, actually, this isn't a 2020, but I want a 2020 Hellcat. I do. Because I love that supercharged engine. This is an actually indigo blue is what they call it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I apologize. It is not indigo blue. It is called frostbite. And I want to apologize for the lady howling in the background. Which a beautiful color, but personally, I would want the high octane red, which is right over there, which we'll go check out in just a second. Red, red, red. What? Remember I told you earlier about that one car, the, the, blue, the blue Hellcat? Yeah. Okay, that's not my favorite car anymore. This is my favorite car. I wasn't lying when I said high octane red. This is the high octane red. Bro, is it actually the high octane red? Yes, it is. This is the wide body Hellcat red eye. Therefore, it's got over what? I don't know, Reggie, they're gonna kill you, run you over here. But over like 90 more horsepower than the other Hellcat. Oh, it's beautiful. Reg, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Well, let me tell you something, guys, real quick. I remember I told about the Hellcat being my favorite car. I think, I'm just kidding, no, the Hellcat's my favorite car. <laughs> guys, I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you got this far, please like and subscribe. We love cars and coffee. We absolutely do, and we're glad whenever we can do it. I mean, every single time we learn something new, meet different people, that's the beauty about these car shows. I totally recommend you guys go out to one so you guys can actually just interact. These people are great. They always got stories that are amazing, as you guys heard on The Last Gentleman. So I want to thank you all. So please be blessed. Be safe. I will see you on the next one. Peace.